How's it going guys? Welcome back to another NASCAR Heat 4 video. Now today is going to be a little bit different. I said I was going to make a detailed video of why I stopped the career mode and why I think we can do it um, to make it better. Because right now, I'm going to be completely real with you guys and completely honest. The career mode is, there's a reason why I stopped. It's not fun. There's nothing different. There's nothing new. And it's just a recycle of last year. And to be honest, maybe even worse than last year because even the little things like just a screen behind um, your main menu screen, your user interface is just more boring. My, It's just my truck back there. But they did make one um, difference in the career mode is where you could actually start from any series, which I might do I'm because I never touched the Cup Series in this career mode. I might just jump to the Cup Series and start recording that and uploading that if I like it. But the biggest thing about why I stopped career mode and what we have to do uh, to make it better is it's the same as last year. That's a problem. I made like 80 videos uh, last year on this career mode and it, I can't do that again. There was no joy for me to just go through the grind again and especially when there's nothing different. And so the, the thing about career mode is it's not just this game. It's EA Sports has set the precedent lately with just forgetting about career mode, especially let's say in FIFA where for the last six years it hasn't been changed. It, that's bad. So the fact is most of the people who buy this game buy it for career mode. I know that might be a little bit weird. A lot of you guys that all play this game every day will play multiplayer, have leagues, but most of the people who buy this game will play career mode because it's a single player experience. You could just come home, play it by yourself, have fun with the AI, and, and that's where the gist of it is. And even as a kid, we always loved career modes. That's just what it was, single player career. That was the main feature of every game. And that hasn't changed. For example, in the F1 games, the career modes in F1 are great. They're really good. Now, some people may complain from the F1 community that they've been kind of the same the last few years, but they do put a lot of emphasis on what they on the career mode in the F1 games. F1 really f focuses on two things. They focus on career. They focus on esports. They, they do a good job focusing on both. And I think uh, maybe 704 could do the same here, where, yes, the point of this game here was to, to develop the get the gameplay the core gameplay the physics the graphics the the drive the just the driving of the game the the core game itself which by the way I still like I gave this game a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10 and I still stick by that it is a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10 so the career mode hasn't changed so that's a that's a big downside but the actual game itself is still really good and I still enjoy it now, let's get into some of the things that, that really need to get fixed here. So, number one, again, nothing's changed. The only thing that has changed maybe is this My Team area where you can adjust the pit speed and pit accuracy. But it's so basic. All this is so basic. Built from last year has not changed. And just nothing... Maybe this screen's a little bit different, but again, not much has changed here. Nothing's changed in the rival system. Nothing's really changed in the Edit My Driver. That hasn't changed either. Edit My Car still isn't changed. Um, apparently when you get like different, um, sponsors, that's when your, your car changes, but that's something that also needs to, to improve is we need to have an actual paint booth. I mean, this, this is not okay. This is really bad. I know maybe if I get a, a better sponsor then the, I get more options or something, but for a game in 2019 and now we're in 2020, this isn't good. And the fact that this has been like this for three years now is not good. So this has to change immediately. And it's just, I know the resources are small, but like, come on. I have seen small developed games with much more customization than this. I mean, let's say like Monster Energy Supercross, which isn't even that big of a game either. The first rendition of Monster Energy Supercross had way more customization for a bike than this. So this has to change. And this is, that's just part of career mode. And there's a lot of things in here that, that just need to be improved on. I mean, there's just, other than developing your car and hiring your employees that you just put a number to, there's nothing different here. Now, what I, what I recommended, as you see at the top right, which actually my screen is covering, so let me move that real quick. But you can see at the top right, we have the number of fans and the money. Now, the money is the biggest thing that has to be improved here because we have so much money and we gain money throughout the seasons, but there's no cost, if you know what I mean. There's no expenses. Running a team like this is expensive. We should not be able just to upgrade 
are are cars and trucks itself and that's where all the money goes to because once this is all done there's nothing left what about the salaries of the employees what about the the cost of uh r d research all these things that are in older nascar career uh games also in f1 where you have a cost for r d and, and stuff like that to upgrade your car there has to be expenses in this career mode. So if I if I do well in the race, I have more money to spend and expend and build up my team that way instead of just, I have all this money, I'm going to save it up, and then I'm going to put it into these certain areas. That's just not... It, it's too basic. It's too simple, and it's been like this since NASCAR 3 and not improving it here is, is just not good enough. And now, what I want to get to is also an owner mode, but we're a little bit far away from that i i believe because this is this is technically a mini owner mode because i am using my own team but i can't hire other drivers so that's another big thing that uh i would like to be in this career mode i don't think you need a separate mode for example you need an owner mode and a career mode it could be the same thing and you could choose like this game does give you the option i can go drive for a real life team or I could go be an owner, and most of us would probably choose owner because you know it's just cooler that way. We're making our own our own team, but you could be in DGR Crossley and take Decker out of the 54 because we obviously know she doesn't deserve that ride. So you could just go ahead and take that ride, but you know it's it's up to you. I think a complete overhaul of the UI because I actually like, for example, a a uh, a garage area or a, a manufacturer shop. I like that kind of thing where I can see multiple cars being built or multiple trucks being built. And see my pit crew members working on that. I like that. I think we had a mini version of that in NASCAR 3 And then this is just boring. This is plain. This is just there's nothing going on in here. It, it, I First thing I do when I enter the career mode, right? And I see this screen. It's like I'm not. There, there's nothing that makes me want to really play this. And there, there's no there's nothing going on here that I want to do. Knowing that how simple everything is. It's just very simplified. I think. We need some more complicated aspects and features into this career mode that really make a difference. Also, tweaking the rival system would help a lot because I've been doing these races and I race normally. I would say even when you guys watch my videos, I race pretty dirty. I, I make a lot of contact with a lot of drivers and yet I have 26 friends in the two series and only one rival. And it's it's because mainly because the rival system is a little bit weird where it's too aggressive sometimes and... You know, I think something like NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup is perfect where that, by the way, that user interface was really cool because you had your driver and you had the little rival and, and um, hero system there and you could see where it was and you also got text messages and stuff. Like, we're in 2020. If I have 737 fans, why do I not have a screen to see, like, what the heck are they talking about? I only see that after a race. I don't see any social media. There's no interviews for me to, to take part in. There's no there's no way for me to actually communicate with another driver unless it's after the race and they do the same basic chatter that's just boring at this point. There's just nothing to it. I mean, the fans should mean something. The fans the fans should bring sponsorships, not your your race winning overall performances. Let's say the more fans you get, the more sponsors you get, the more opportunity. It shouldn't be future plans. If you place 20th or 10th higher in the playoff standings, then you go run for this team and you could get this sponsor, right? That It's not like that. It, I can be 10th place in the standings and I could have the personality and the followers of Eric Jones. And I'm not going to get those sponsors because I don't have enough fans. I don't have enough social media followers. I don't, I haven't built myself. There's something in the UFC career mode that, you know, EA Sports in the UFC career mode where you have to promote your fights and you have to promote yourself. You have to post social media, attend events, and you gain fans that way. You, you uh, get on magazines, you do photo shoots, you do, uh, you do photo shoots for NASCAR themselves or a promo for a race. All of that can be put into this career mode to build up your fan count, which then build, gets you new sponsorships. Because sponsors are looking for image, they're looking for brand, they're looking for exposure, and you want to be able to bring that exposure as a driver to the race team. And I think that'd be something that's really cool. So if even if you own a team, your image, your brand, it's not just what you do on track, but it's what you do in in your personality and how in your social media following that gets you the sponsors. That really should be implemented in a racing game because NASCAR is all about sponsorship. 
and you want to be able to bring in your sponsors through your social media following and your just marketing ability. So that is something that I really want to see in this career mode for NASCAR Eat 5 um, because that would be something that really interests me, in my opinion. Like, it's not just what I do on track. Anyone can set this on easy and win every race and blast through a career mode and nothing happens, right? You just build up your money, you build up your teams, and that's it. But if there's an added sense of realism in, into the game, then that's something I would really like. I think a lot of you guys would like as well. I think if you guys have ever played UFC, like UFC 3, I think that it, even though it's that, that career mode is short and it's, it's, again, a little bit basic, a lot of menu-based stuff, just the fact that you have that social media following and that, that gets you different levels of fight and you have fight hype and stuff, like that could be implemented into a NASCAR game as well. Just by promoting yourself and, and promoting your team to get sponsors and gain fans and autograph signings like in, in 2000 and NASCAR Chase for the Cup and, and stuff like that. That's innovative ideas that, that should be in this career mode. Now that since NASCAR E3, it hasn't been changed, which I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure for a fact the developers have looked at it. And now once coming, coming in NASCAR E5, you're going to have two years of just ideas because nothing changed in this one. So everything that was on the shelf waiting while we fix the gameplay, right? They could, that could be built upon and more features can be added into the career mode, which really needs to improve. Because th that is the main reason why I stopped playing the career. And um, yeah, so if I'm just already going to reset this career because I'm not going to do it. But if you guys want me to start from the Cup Series, I can do that. I don't think I can own a team, but I can start from the Cup Series and do that kind of career mode. And see what's different there. Because now that we're in the top level, maybe there's different things that I didn't see down in the Dirt Tour series, the Truck series that never really interested me that we could do in the Cup series. So let me know if you would like to see that. Um, and yeah, that's just basically what I've been getting at with the career mode. It has to get changed. It has to get upgraded. Uh, it has to be better. Because having a career mode that's the same as last year sets a really bad precedent. Because you don't want it to be the same every year. That's what FIFA's been doing for five years. I don't think 704 is going to do that. They, they have limited resources that have focused their time in, in different areas. But hopefully if they have more funding, more backing, and they could put more of a focus on career mode and make it a lot better. Because this is where the potential is in NASCAR game. You have a lot of kids who play these games that want that realism factor. You want to be able to communicate with other drivers or kind of build yourself up on social media. Social media is everything nowadays. So, like, it's it would be really cool to be put into this game. And those are just some of my ideas, guys. Comment down below what you think can make this career mode better. Because I really think if we can make it better, it's just going to be better overall for the game. And it, the lifespan of the game will increase as well. Because you're going to always have your multiplayer. You're always going to have your league. You're always going to have your eSports. But you're always going to want that, that career mode as well. It's really, really important. So, hopefully that improves. Again, comment down below what you think name ideas i my ideas were like just change the user interface add um change the rival system add like some social media presence add fans to get sponsorships in that area maybe r d stuff a lot of kind of realism kind of not even on the track kind of things just on the side kind of things uh what do you guys think do you guys want to hire your own drivers do you want um different areas like that do you want a thunder 2004 career mode where you have all these r d options or you have to rebuild engines every single race, which we have in this career mode a little bit, just not as, I think, detailed as the older games. So would you want, like, data telemetry? That's something that could be really cool is the data telemetry for your engines, for your suspension, for, for the car itself, and, and you could have these graphs and everything. You could see how this engine is built, and that, and maybe one engine is better than the other engine, and you could focus on that. You know, that's something like Thunder 04. So again, comment down below. If you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and just think of ideas. Comment them down below, share them, post them to NASCAR Heat Reddit. I'm never on Reddit, but they, I'm pretty sure they have a Reddit. So post them there, share them with the de developers on Twitter um, and just, just what can be improved here because I am a big fan of career mode and I want it to be better. It's that simple. So I'll see you guys later again. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Uh, check the description below for um, some cool details about Hero Soap Company, which if you buy some soap, you can support veterans, arm, armed forces, and veterans. Use disco discount code RADMAN for a discount. Um, I, the soap is great. It's not expensive at all either, so a portion of your sales goes to the armed forces, to firefighters, veterans. It's really a good cause, so I like pushing that. That's All the details for that are in the description down below, as long as as well as Twitter and Instagram. And, uh, comment down below and everything, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having 
a fantastic day. Peace out.